My name is Antonio Martins Morao. I'm a clinical neurophysiologist. I've been working with electroencephalography for a long time. I was trained initially in the late 1980s. That was my first um, entry into the field. And I later trained in quantitative electroencephalography. That was the early 90s. My name is Dr. Debbie Kim. I am a board-certified QEEG diplomate and a licensed marriage family therapist in Los Angeles, California. I've been working with the QEEG brain mapping and neurofeedback as a psychotherapist since 1996. The history of electroencephalography goes back a long time to the mid-20s. It was uh, first applied to humans by Hans Berger, and Hans Berger was a psychiatrist. Fast forward to the late 1970s and we have the application of computers and very powerful algorithms and since then progressively it's been used more and more. Now we can look at the impact and functional correlations between behavior and what's happening right here. There have been many studies on biomarkers of neuropsychological problems. Slowing of alpha peak frequency suggests cognitive decline. Beta spindling is strongly associated with anxiety or insomnia. And in 2013, the FDA approved the first EEG-based biomarker of ADHD by computing the theta-beta ratio. We are discovering new neuromarkers uh, by the day. So it's a fast-growing field where all this information is, is being put together to provide clinicians more and more information. The I think wave is part of that movement. iMedSync is an AI digital mental care platform company located in Seoul, South Korea. When I had worked as clinical professor at Seoul National University Hospital, I realized there were no solution for objective measure of brain dysfunction. So I decided to start my research about brain wave. We developed iSync Wave, the wearable brain scanning and enhancing helmet, which is seamlessly connected with iSync Brain our cloud-based automatic quantitative EEG analyzing systems with AI algorithms for supporting diagnostics, measuring, analysis, and interpretation of EEG become very easy and remote monitoring or treatment become possible. As a clinician, I always be on the lookout for new developments in the field, and I came across iMedisync because they produced to date, the best database there is for normative comparisons. They've produced this equipment which is made by clinicians for clinicians and you can do an assessment of quantitative electroencephalography in only 10 minutes. I'm so thankful to have found this iSync Wave helmet. The user experience is great with the convenience of portability and simplicity. It saves a lot of time and effort by using just a helmet and a tablet I think Brain adopts the world's first age and sex differentiated EEG normative database, which was developed in Seoul National University under the National Research Project. All research process and validation about our database was published in Journal Frontiers in Neuroscience, December 2021. Eye medicine solutions are used and trusted by more than 60 hospitals, clinics, governments, and research institutes within Korea, including public dementia centers. Because it's so simple and portable, iSync Wave can easily be used with a little bit of training, which opens the possibility of home use with telemedicine. The senior population can be monitored and managed at home with personalized guidance from a professional. I think WAVE is under FDA review for 510K, and we further aim for CE approval within this year. You only understand the power of quantitative electroencephalography once you've been through the process. As a clinician, because of the unprecedented information it gives you, but also for the patient, now they know what part of the brain it's affecting, how it's affecting their lives. We then can, in a way, choose uh, which aspects we can work in terms of neuromodulation. Whatever we find as neuromarkers, we can attempt to optimize. I think Wave's near-infrared LED photoneuromodulation function supplies changeable flickering frequencies from 1 to 45 Hz. 
users could decide the location, duration, and fully coring frequencies according to the QEG mapping result after brain scan. Our AI-empowered digital mental care platform services could change the mental care practice from knowledge-based to data-driven. A new era of individualized mental care might be possible soon. I'm excited for the possibility of every mental health clinic being equipped with this cutting-edge device and helping professionals improve the lives of their patients with this simple, accurate, and portable iSyncWave helmet.